friends, welcome back. Today I will be going through a new app that will help you create digital planners really quickly and you don't need to have fancy subscriptions like Adobe or Illustrator um, to start making your own digital planners. Um, I've actually followed this uh, brand Planify Pro a while back. Um, they actually just uh, released a lot of digital planner features for you to create your own planners. Um, they actually started uh, creating um, planner inserts for printable planners before they got into the whole digital planners and it's been amazing to see them grow into this niche um, and I really love how uh, everything's set up like all all the linking and everything set up in here you don't have to manually link each page so um, I just want to show you uh, how this app works so as you can see from this web page um, they are advertising their digital planners um, this is what most of the digital planners look like and they already have tons of templates for uh, layouts and different types of planners because they used to do printable planners so it's very transferable to put it back into like a digital planner and they include all the rings and the background so um, yeah it's pretty much a one-stop shop if you are interested in making your own planner and this it's very rare to have something that just makes digital planners um, I've used Canva and um, Adobe but they're all kind of just workarounds and of course like I've used um, PowerPoint uh, slides to make planners and they don't have the same capacity as Planify Pro. So um, if you're interested in checking them out, I actually have a link in my description for you to try it. So um, feel free to go there and sign up. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, these are all the templates that are included in there that you can use. Um, they have great tutorials, which uh, you can go through in their YouTube. Um, they even have like a library of graphics. You can make your own um, digital stickers and everything in there. So if this is something that um, you're interested in, definitely go check it out. So I currently have an account with them and I'll let you see how it looks like in the back end so you can get a good idea of um, how this app works. Um, I think you can actually sign in without a subscription to see the back end and everything that's in there. Um, the main thing is you won't be able to export things. Um, so yeah, you can still poke around if you want, I think. Um, and the main thing too with this is it's recommended to be used on Firefox um, because there are some issues with the Chrome exp extension that might not work very well for this app. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there might be a slightly lear big learning curve for those that like are not familiar with the interface yet, but I'll go into that later. Um, they have a lot of pre-made things that you can always go into and just use for yourself. Um, and they also have um, business subscription, so like a business plan for if you want to sell things um, from this app, and that's totally um, available. You just have to pay for the business subscription. Um, everything you make on here is sellable. So um, this is their main page. You can see all the new um, collections and graphics. And then once you go to explore, um, there's also a lot of pre-made templates. Um, a lot of them are also printable. So if you're into printables and digital planners, this is like heaven for you. Um, there's a lot of pre-made things that you can use and the subscription is not bad. Um, I think it's like $10 a month. So this is unlimited. You can have unlimited um, inserts and digital planners. So um, creators, you can actually make a profile and share some of your uh, work here so um, other people can use it. So it's just 
like a bit of a sharing in the community. Um, in Create, um, you can create a new planner, and this is what it looks like when you're actually editing stuff. So if you want more details on this, you can definitely go to their um, YouTube channel. The tutorials are really straightforward and detailed. So I'll just kind of briefly go over this. Um, what's cool about this is if you're doing digital planners, you just have to go to um, a layout and just pick a digital planner. And then I think they just added like a vertical um, digital planner recently. So you can actually do vertical planner or a landscape planner, like anything you dream off, you can probably do in here. And it's just so simple because you can just add tabs in here like this. Um, yeah, it's just so easy. And these tabs carry over if you add like a new page. So no more like creating, duplicating the tabs manually. And what's really cool about this too is if you make a tab that says like January, and your page says January here, it actually automatically links so I think like this is linked already so I think that's really cool um, you can do text month, text test, text or just manually link something but this definitely saves so much time when you're making um, links for the planner um, and then after this, what else do I want to show you? Um, there's widgets, so the widgets are actually like little things you want to put in here. Um, so they have all kinds of widgets. You can use like a calendar widget here, um, or you can add like a tracker here. So there's like all these elements that you need for your digital planner within these widgets. So you're just kind of switching things up however you want your planner to look like. And so just having this library of widget makes everything so easy. Um, you don't have to make anything from scratch. And um, if you're not into doing that yourself, there's also tons of like pre-made templates. So if you don't even think about wh where to put your widgets, there are already like pre-made pages for you. So you can go apply to pages. Um, so like that's done. Um, these are actual individual widgets, but if you don't care about making it super customized yourself, then this is your planner. You've made a page already. So this is just something I'm so excited about. Um, it makes making your own digital planner so much easier compared to all the other methods that I've seen um, to date. So yeah, this is awesome. Um, there's tons of graphics in the sticker section for you to choose. And there's just like different themes that you can pick like there's Christmas stuff here and tons of like different themed things like I guess pets um, but yeah so this is my overview of this Planify Pro app um, if you're looking to start making your planners now for next year I know a lot of people are um, definitely go check out this app. Um, you will save a lot of time figuring this out. And a bonus is I don't think there's a page limit to this. I know a lot of people have issues with page limits if you're doing it on a PowerPoint or some other um, apps like Canva has um, page limits. So this does not have page limits and everything is 
um, already linked and organized. So if you are looking for a easy way to make a digital planner for to make for yourself or to sell, this platform is definitely my recommendation. So yeah, if you want to give it a go, find the link in my description and give it a try. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.